Hi, and welcome to my new Let's Play series on Spot 4 on the PC. I hadn't actually played this for quite some time, so I thought I would go back to it and do a recording of it as well, since it can actually be a really funny game, especially with the glitches. So I've got the first uh, mission here, it's a Chinese restaurant, and as you can imagine, there's plenty of uh, terrorists in it, as well as plenty of weapons and actual uh, Element. Fall in and stay close. The take objective of this mission is to go and get the, the uh, get modified Uzi that's in the restaurant. On the ground, now. What I've always liked about this what, four game, including this expansion pack, they'll just throw that in there. Oh shit, oh shit. Yep, no help. That was my best moment. What I've always liked about it is that it feels very... Uh, Logical, it's not just a run and gun first person shooter. I'll just try that. Oh, for God's sake. Hi, Graham reporting. I have an unknown contact. Um, and also, like the fact is, we can send down the men first to get them to clear any rooms before you go in and get yourself blown to bits. I am not in your spot. I'm not in your spot. Anyway, no, I'm not. Anyway, um, it can be really annoying. Some of the civilians in the game can be extremely annoying, they don't Just actually get down. Police, what the hell are you doing now. in a women's toilet? Don't shoot. Hi, Dirty bugger. But yeah, it's actually a very good game, SWAT 4. Especially like that there, in the top right hand corner you can see there's a sniper view. And you can actually shoot any uh, suspects that you see. Hi, Normally reporting. if Lost if I had to shoot someone and... It was classed as unauthorised, we get points taken off me at the end of the level. However, if your teammates do it, or if you do it in sniper mode, you don't get any points taken off at the end. So again, it's a very well laid out game, very tactical, which you'd expect from a SWAT game anyway. And there you go, so I just shot that guy there, and I won't get any points taken off at the end. Eventually got him, ended up smearing his head against the concrete. Zero one reporting. I've lost sight of the suspect. Be advised. Get in and clear. I got it. So in each level, um, there will always be Let's two move. objectives. One is to bring so order to the chaos, which Get basically means either killing or arresting any of the suspects. And the other objective will always be to rescue the civilians. This is actually quite a nice wee level down. to start on because Sir, it's well laid out, it's simplistic, but it's just still like a bit of a challenge as well at the same time. Sometimes the civilians won't actually comply with you, and in, in that case, you've got to do a wee bit of force on them. Not as much in this level, but in later levels. In fact, the second mission, one of the civilians does actually give you a bit of shit, and you've got to deal with them properly. Which is quite a nice wee touch to the game. Adds a wee bit more of realism to it as well. But surely that way you've got to think first before you fire off around. Sometimes what they will do, which I thought this guy was going to do here, is that they decide that they'll feign the fact that they're going to surrender and then they still shoot you anyway, which can be highly annoying. Roger, keep it up. So yeah, so there's not many left. Take care there might only be one or two no, left in this mission that I need to arrest. Or on your trials, I Suspect kill them. But we'll see how many, and this is what I quite like about this, you can send your teammates up so you don't get shot. So you just send him up instead. Where did that guy go? There's his gun. Where did he go? He disappeared. Where the hell has he went to? Oh, there's the other one. Where the hell is he? Oh, what? Well, I don't understand how he managed to get up there. Uh, another great thing about this game is as well that you can actually... Oh! So I've killed all the suspects, or arrested them. So it's just a gun that I need to locate now. Good. Another good thing about this game is that um, you can split up your team as well, if so, if needed. But that's pretty much it. I'll just go to the debrief now, and I hope you've enjoyed this short video on SWAT 4, the first mission. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.